Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today we want to alloy aluminum and gallium. And we want to find out, is this a physical change or a chemical change? Or maybe it's a little bit of both. Check it out. All you need for this lab is some hot water to melt your gallium, an aluminum can, a little bit of sandpaper, a syringe to draw out your gallium, and of course, <laughs> your gallium. And um, gallium is an interesting element. It's element 31 on the periodic table. It's a lot like indium and aluminum, and you can melt gallium, would you believe, at 86 degrees. So I'm gonna pop the lid here, and I'm gonna lower this vial of gallium. You can see it's kind of a silvery metal. This was first discovered back in 1875. If I lower my gallium into my hot water, you'll start to see it melt. Here's another droplet of hot to fall. And there it goes. <laughs> so here you can see our droplets of gallium at the bottom of our hot water. Okay, second step, take your sandpaper and kind of rough up the lid of your um, aluminum can, rough up the sides, wherever you want to put the gallium. But that oxide layer has to be removed from the aluminum for it to alloy with the gallium. So I'm here with Alex and he's going to use a syringe to draw out that liquid gallium from our beaker. <laughs> There it is. Okay. There you go. And then just tip it right side up and get that water out. Really hot water. Keeps it in that melted state. Right about there. That's perfect, Alex. Okay, and then you can see the part of the aluminum can that we uh, roughed up, we got rid of that oxide layer. He's gonna put the gallium right on the lid of the can. You can see right now, it's very firm to the touch. That's gonna change after a bit. Just coat the lid with that gallium. Yep. Just like that. And then you're gonna let this set for about an hour and let that gallium alloy with the aluminum. We'll see what happens. So right away, as the gallium starts to alloy with the aluminum, you can actually see impurities rising to the surface. So over here, you have your, your pure gallium. And then over here, you can start seeing the aluminum impurities rising to the surface. This is evidence that it is definitely alloying to the aluminum. Okay, I'm here with Alex, and we're ready to test our alloy. You can see the top of the can is totally discolored as that gallium is mixed with the aluminum. And Alex is just gonna pick at the top and see what happens, see if that just comes right off. It should come off almost like tissue. It should just peel off. Look at that, he's just peeling it off with his fingers. It's just like goo. And this is a physical change. This is just a mixture of metals. This isn't a chemical change. But we're going to demonstrate a chemical change because when aluminum alloys with gallium, what happens is gallium removes the oxide layer on aluminum. And so if you put it in water, the aluminum can immediately react with the oxygen in the water and release hydrogen gas. And we're going to test that next in just a minute. Look at that. He is literally just picking it off with his fingers. Is it really soft, Alex? It's very soft. Very soft. And then this is what the alloy looks like over here in the Petri dish. Tissue paper right there. It's, it's like tissue paper. Look at that. That is amazing. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to test the chemical change of this aluminum gallium alloy. So Alex is just going to put these chunks of aluminum gallium in water, and it's going to react and release hydrogen gas. Do you see those bubbles coming up? That's the aluminum reacting with the oxygen in the water, releasing hydrogen gas. And Alex is capturing that hydrogen gas in this little beaker that he has inverted over the bubbles. And when he thinks there's enough hydrogen gas in there, he's just gonna very carefully lower the beaker over this open flame and that hydrogen should ignite. You think you got enough, Al? Uh, a little while longer. I can see it's starting to look a little cloudy in the beaker. 
Good. Get get the beaker really close to the surface of the water without touching it. Yep. So you know hydrogen escapes. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of bubbles. You're definitely generating hydrogen gas. Okay, lower that over the flame. Let's see what happens. Now we need more. Yeah. <laughs> more. Yeah, more. Uh, let's put in. Let's put in some more chunks. Okay. So another chunk. Add some more chunks. Right there. Maybe two or three more. Okay. Let's get one. Let's That's generate lots of hydrogen. All right. A few more chunk chunks there. in there. Yeah. <laughs> Stick okay. in your finger. Okay. Let's look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it bubbling down there. Yep. At the bottom. So it's definitely releasing hydrogen. You got a good chemical reaction going. Maybe get the beaker a little closer to the surface. Yep. Right there. Right near. Oh, yeah, we may not be trapping enough in it. Let's dump a few more of these. Some of those are gallium. Pieces oh, yeah. in there. But you can definitely see, you can definitely see them bubbling down there at the bottom. And that's the chemical change. So the alloy is the physical change. And when it reacts with oxygen in the water and releases hydrogen gas, that's the chemical change. Okay, let's do the flame test. Let's see if it, uh, let's see if it reacts this time. No, not, not quite enough hydrogen in there. <laughs> That's okay. Good job, Alex. Way to go.